March 23rd. It is swimming day. Swimming is a very important exercise to balance out the work of the core. We focus a lot in Pilates on the front core and finding that. And so it's important not to ignore that we need the back core as well. I like the image of the corset, even though anatomically this is not necessarily what's really happening. Of course, it's not what's really happening, but um, we've got our abdominals. It's just a great image that they're tightening in. They can narrow in around us front and back and no corset would be complete without the laces. And so I think of the multifidus muscles in my back as my laces that go all the way up because they're so close to the spine and they kind of complete the corset. They do not, do not actually pull the corset around you. You have to do that yourself. But I also find that this exercise is more difficult to perform even though it's a pretty easy or simple idea. So I like to start it so that it doesn't get too confusing between the arms and the legs. I like to start and really get the legs going and get my lower back happy. So I like to make a little spider finger with my fingers on the floor and push into the floor of a mat and pull my shoulder blades down my back and find a little extension. And then I find the same thing in my legs, reaching my toes and lifting them up. And then I'm gonna start my legs. And then if and only if, I feel, I keep breathing. If I feel like I can connect my shoulder blades down my back and really lift my arms from that place, then I can add my arms in. Try not to bend your knees like you would for a exercise or for actual swimming in the water, which I plan to do this weekend, some cold Pacific water. Then I like to take that swimming exercise for an added challenge and see if I can do it on my spine corrector. This is a classic um, rendition of the exercise. So I'm gonna try it both directions on my spine corrector. Actually, let's start this way first. It's a little bit easier. So if you find something fun to balance on that's not too dangerous, you can bring yourself into that position. And of course, you mustn't hit, Joe Pilates says in his directions, you mustn't hit your feet and hands into the floor, right? So if you're up on something, you lift yourself. Now I have a little more room to move my legs in the downward position. So that's nice. But if I go this way, it's more tippy, which can also be fun. So I'm going to turn it this direction. My little imaginary trapeze isn't gonna work for this one today. So I go back, find where kind of on my hip bones, maybe a little in front of the hip bones. As Soon as I bring my arms forward, of course, I wanna tip. So I go, okay, so I'm gonna go back a little bit from there, reach, and can I swim, whoa, without falling over. <laughs> Easier said than done. There, that's the spot. That will really get the glutes going. <sighs> swimming feels kind of like I'm swimming through these emotions right now of what happened in Boulder and my heart goes out to the families of the victims and I am grateful that I made this commitment to make videos of Pilates work every day because otherwise I would be wallowing in sadness still in my pajamas in my bed. So it's important to keep moving and it's important to support each other. And I'll be teaching a class on Thursday evening from 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, message me if you'd like to be in the class and I'll send you the link and you can make a donation to the Boulder families. I'm sure they will have a fund if they don't already. And uh, I'd like to make that class for that. So thank you for joining and prayers to all those affected.